I know stretch marks is really embarrassing and nobody wants to carry the style of stretch marks in a place that is more visible for a third party to see that we have a stretch mask style on our body. My part. channel, my name is Nick and Lonsing. Have you subscribed? Because on this channel, you're going to be getting and information of what you can use for your beauty and hair and you do not want to miss any of that so go right now click that subscribe button like yeah share and always comment like I said in my previous video I'll be sharing with you the treatments in which you can apply to get rid of your spread marks in as fast as possible and you're going to get a visible result, not those out there that you're not going to get results because I am using this product and I have had a lot of testimony for signing this treatment and it works that you can use in getting rid of your stretch marks fast, fast. Who is ready to up one on the balls and let's try it on as we get this treatment. Yeah. So to start this scrub coffee scrub we're going to be needing a teaspoon or two teaspoons of coffee to make this scrub so coffee is an effective body skin inflator that removes the skin thereby allowing the new one to regenerate so the next item we're going to be needing to make this scrub is an aloe vera you can use a cosmetics aloe vera or an homemade aloe vera. This is my homemade aloe vera. I will be in the description check up there. So next is sugar. You can use either brown sugar or white sugar. And next on this is a coconut oil. I'll be adding a coconut oil to this scrub. You need coconut oil on this very special So to scrub. start the preparation of this coffee scrub, I'll be adding a two teaspoon of sugar into a coffee. Sugar is a softening agent just like almond oil. So that is why we'll be needing enough sugar on this coffee scrub. So and next I'll be adding to this sugar is our uh, aloe vera gel. This is my natural homemade aloe vera gel. And just you know, aloe vera gel is a natural healing agent. So you need to heal the straight mass. As you are plating, they are getting soft and they are getting ill. So you have to mix this texture to make sure you have enough good texture that those content are properly mixed together. The coffee, the sugar, and the aloe vera in order for you to have uh, a, uh, a maximum thick texture of this crop. So you don't want this quantity to be too solidified or watery. And now I'll be adding my pure coconut oil to this. Coconut oil sorting the skin and is a very natural agent on the skin as well. This is what you need as a as a as an oil to heal straight mass. Coconut oil is one of the agents that heals straight mass from the skin. So you have to make sure you mix this texture together, mix the solution properly together, and make sure non separating and if the texture is too hard, assuming you're using a cosmetic uh, aloe vera, the texture may easily get too hard. And when it's too soft, you may need to add a little amount of sugar or aloe vera. But this, I, I have a very too sticky solution. So I had more, a little bit of aloe vera to my mixture in order to make sure it's a little bit soft on the minimal, not too solidify and not too watery as well. So now I have my scrub. Yeah, the scrub is perfectly ready now for use. This is very good for your skin in order to treat your straight mask. And so you know, this scrub is not only meant for straight mask. You can use this to treat your cellulite, your sky, and also your eczema. If you're suffering from any of the skin diseases, make sure you use this coffee scrub to get them off. <laughs> so consistent use of this scroll is going to make your straight marks, your eczema, your sky to disappear over time. So now I'll be applying this solution on my skin. Yes, my clean skin. You have to be sure that your skin is perfectly clean. 
This is my tie. I'll be using this over time to get rid of straight line. So you can see it's almost not visible because that is to show you that this is work. So you have to make sure you're applying this on a circular motion and to be precise on the affected area that you want to treat these strict marks. You don't want to put it all over your body because scalpy tend to break down collagen production of the death of the skin. So you want to make sure you put it on the affected area in order to make sure that you release the elasticity of that skin to allow your skin to heal for that period of time for 20 minutes and after you apply this for 20 minutes you want to damp it with or uh, wipe it with a damp cloth or dry cloth but the only thing I could lay my hands on is my aloe vera tea tree wipe so that's what I'll be using to clean up this coffee scrub and because this scrub can really really be messy especially if you're using a cosmetic aloe vera to mix it so after wiping it off, like the second tip actually I'm going to be giving you, the next thing is to make sure your skin is properly moisturized. After you scrub your skin, you need to feed the skin a food to eat. That is it, just like you feed your tummy. So and now the things, uh, the oil I recommend or the butter I recommend is a coconut oil or a shea butter. But I'll be using my African shea butter. This is a pure 100% shea butter i'll use this as a moisturizer on the affected area to make sure my skin is properly moisturized and in order to make the new skin that is regenerating to come out glowing and beautiful and to make sure it does not stretch or crack or damage so if you'll be watching this video make sure you smash the subscribe button like share and comment and that's the support i need from you in order to make sure this video reach out to all that viewers as well so that's it if you see as my skin you can see there's a trace of spring mark on that tie <laughs> so thank you for your time see you next time on my next video next tip on stress mark i'm going to be giving you more video a little bit more on how you can treat your stress mark so see you next time bye